at this stage on the, on the painting, I have to make a decision on the light. Like, where is the light coming from in the painting? And that becomes a little bit critical at this point. I have to think more than just express myself with the colors. Where the highlights are going to be, I need to mix those colors with white. Because where the light hits a color, it becomes a little bit lighter. That will be the highlight. That's what really gives it its dimension. You know, that it has all the, all the highlights and, and all the shadows. I'm putting this yellow, like if there's also a yellow light hitting it it in the uh, subject. supposed to be smoke rings. I wanted them to lift off, and I thought, when you see people throw a, a smoke ring, the thing floats, and the wings float. And it, it was just another element to help me elevate it. not a real person. I don't want it to be a real person. It has yellow hands, blue face, purple body, wings. It could be a person that is in front of an audience. It could be a costume. It could be a dream. I think it's me. Not me as you see me, but some aspect of myself somewhat off the ground, kind of, kind of trying to take off. So artists use color to make you make connections, to make you see something as flat or deep, or just to have fun with it. They use color to express the way they feel about the world and to change how you see it. Now, our suits look like they're different colors, don't they? <laughs> well, they look that way not because they're against different backgrounds, but because we're cheating. So long, folks.